Churches are 501c3 organizations, which means that they have to comply with the Internal Revenue Services rules on political campaign intervention and limitations on lobbying. But by following a few rules, churches can effectively engage in the political process and still do legal and effective ministry in a political campaign season. The first rule is that churches can be political, but they can't be partisan. So this means you cannot discourage or encourage your congregants from voting for or against a particular candidate. And if you decide to extend an invitation to a candidate to speak to your church or provide resources to that candidate, give the same equal opportunity to all candidates in that race. The second rule is that churches cannot contribute to or fundraise for a political campaign. All church dollars have to be spent in accordance with 501c3, which means they have to be spent for a charitable purpose. Members, a pastor on their own, um, and other church leaders can contribute to political campaigns independently, but churches cannot contribute to a political fundraiser. The third rule is to pay attention to the limitations on lobbying. Churches can lobby, which means that they can advocate for or against the passage of ballot measures by contacting their elected officials or by encouraging their congregants to contact their elected officials or by even posting signs on church property. Churches just need to keep in mind that these activities should be an insubstantial part of their activities, which roughly means that a church can spend less than 5% of its time and money on lobbying. The final rule is that a church should distinguish its voice from its pastor's voice when appropriate. Our pastors have their own independent voices and should feel free to use those in a partisan way during an election, so long as they make it clear that they are not speaking on behalf of the church. A pastor will always be speaking on behalf of the church when a pastor is speaking at the church or at a church event. In other situations, the pastor should make it clear that they are speaking independently and not on behalf of their church.